everybody welcome to tech plant ai so my name is ashish bansal so in this video so i would be giving you brief introduction to poetry so how we can make a fast api project with poetry so before moving to that so guys please subscribe to my channel so i have listed down all the playlist uh, from computer vision to your pandas to your uh, python numpy right so please do subscribe and comment like and share so let's begin so for that so in today's lecture so i would be walk through uh, using poetry and we would be doing a live project and that project is our fast api so i would be explaining that how we can use the fast api with poetry so let's begin with pycharm so i will create a new project so i will make this name of the project as demo fast api underscore poetry fine so here it is asking me the options that how i can create the virtual environment so before uh, making any new project so you need to make a virtual environment so what is virtual environment so virtual environment is basically an environment which in which you can install all the libraries which are needed for that project okay so here pycharm gives us the leverage so how we can create that virtual environment by using different ways so we can either create the virtual environment using virtual environment we can also create by using pnb we can also create using poetry and we can also create using conda right so we can explore all these four options fine but i would be creating my virtual environment by using conda environment so this conda environment gives us the flexibility in which we can use different python versions right so in virtual environment and pip environment so you don't have the flexibility so you need to prior install that in a python version and then you can use this virtual environment fine so i would be using my python version that is python 3.10 okay so i will click on this create button and it will try to create the virtual environment for my demo fast api poetry project so let's begin so it is loading uh, the required dependencies and it is creating the conda environment and then in that conda environment is it is trying to create the virtual environment so now the virtual environment has been created and in the top right hand side bottom you can say that you can see that like uh, the python 3.10 is my version and i am inside my demo fast api underscore poetry virtual environment right okay if you can open your terminal okay so this gives the terminal and uh, here also you can see that i am inside my virtual environment which is demo fast api poetry okay so what we have created by using this conda environment okay so now this process has been completed of creating virtual environment and we have created the virtual environment by using this uh, conda right conda environment which pycharm has provided us okay so now what is the next thing we'll do so to begin with any of the project so we need to install the dependencies okay let's say we are working for our data science project so we need numpy we need pandas right let's say we are trying to work with our uh, api building or a web development we need fast api we need other frameworks also let's say django flask right so for that we need to install their dependencies right so what we'll usually do so we will try to say pip install and we will give the name of the dependency let's say fast api okay so so then the fast api will get installed in this particular environment and it will be provided to you okay let's say you need another dependency you will go do this process again so instead of doing this process what we would try to do we will try to create a requirement.txt and then we will list all the dependencies in that requirement.txt and we will run like this pip install minus r and we will say requirement.txt okay requirements.txt because we have listed down all the dependencies in our requirement.txt what this r stand for r stands for recursive so it will try to read all the dependencies from this requirement.txt and it will recursively call that and install that library so this is what we do in the requirement.txt so instead of doing this what we will do we will try to install poetry okay 
so what is poetry basically so let's move to the official documentation of poetry so this is the poetry uh, documentation so poetry is a tool for dependency management and packaging in python right so so for the installation of poetry so you can install it by using your pip you can install it by using your curl also on windows you can install it by using this link right so you can after installing you can check the poetry button okay so since we haven't installed our poetry so we will try to install our poetry so i will say pip install poetry right because poetry is not installed on my this virtual environment okay so meanwhile it's getting installed so let's go down to the documentation and we will t uh, see what it is basically right so we can install uh, poetry by using pip install minus u poetry with pipx also we can install it we can upgrade it we can update also poetry right and also we can check the version of the poetry which version we are trying to uh, we are trying to work with okay so now you can see that poetry has been installed on my virtual environment right so i would be working with my virtual environment and poetry okay so now in order to have this poetry so we need to in initialize it we need to uh, may, uh, write the command as poetry in it so what it will do it will try to create a toml file right and in this toml file this is basically a config file it is asking for like uh, how you need to define your configs right so in that config file so there are a couple of things we need to give them or we cannot uh, we we may or we may not give them the uh, description right so let's say uh, the package name i will leave it bl blank so version i will also leave it blank i will hit enter then description uh, also i will leave it blank then author name i will uh, type n to skip license i will leave it blank compatible versions let's say so it is saying that the this project is being compatible with python 3.10 because we have already installed our virtual environment and this sign it says python 3.10 and onwards okay right so you can also specify your python version in which it is being compatible with okay so for the time being i am leaving it as blank would you like to define your main dependencies interactively so for the time being i will say no so i will tell you that how you can define your dependencies okay so would you like to define your de development dependencies interactively so for the time being i will say no right so this is basically your dev dependencies for example if you want to write your test cases so there you can easily write your test cases in this dev uh, development environment right well de uh, dev uh, development independencies okay so it says do you confirm generation so i will do yes okay okay so now if you try to refresh here uh, okay so now you can see that here py project dot toml so this is a toml file so basically it listed down all the things which we have specified right so if for example it has specified version 0.1 you can also give your own version you can also give your de description you can also author you can give the author name or you can give your email id right so it says poetry tool dot poetry dot dependencies means that so it is having your python and it is having your python which is uh, 3.10 version and onwards so this project it is supporting right so you have your dev dependency so it is currently blank right now right so this is your poetry right so let's say i will say poetry and i will say install right so these are the two commands so one, one was the poetry in it another was poetry install when i try to install this so what will happen so a log file it will generate a log file right poetry log file will get generated right so this is blank file it is it is basically it is being uh, whatever dependencies you try to uh, give to this toml file so this poetry uh, log file will have that exact dependencies with as exact versions and a hash associated with it 
okay for example you wanted to give this project to someone right and earlier what we do we have we were having a requirement.txt and in the meanwhile in the requirement.txt we do not specify the version number because it is very tedious for us to specify the version numbers and also the supporting libraries for that particular library uh, we also need to specify so it all, all it automatically take care uh, of the versions and all the uh, supporting libraries or the dependencies which are needed for that primary dependencies right okay so let's try to install one of the dependencies so what i will say i will say poetry add let's say numpy so i will need a numpy library for my project so i will say poetry add numpy and i will hit enter right so now it will say installing numpy right so it will take a couple of seconds and in the toml file you can say that you can see that like numpy has been installed or it has given that uh, num uh, version number and it says that this project supports numpy library and it it is also included in your poetry log right so the numpy is being included in your poetry log and with the hash number with the hash right and it is the exact uh, structure or the exact dependencies if you wanted to give to someone so it will have the same dependencies with same exact version right for example today uh, like you are working with numpy 1.22.3 and later on if someone tries to work with that particular uh, numpy library with that exact version so it might change right so if someone wants to uh, take this project so it could simply says poetry update it will take from this project dot .toml file and it will create a log file and all the exact dependencies or the exact libraries which you have used so it will give that right okay so there are a lot many stuff which you can do with this poetry right so i will go to their documentation and will try to uh, give you a brief introduction about what it is right for the commands right so we can create our project by using poetry also we can give a poetry new and it will give the name of the project let's say my package is the project name it will create the folder structure as follows it will create a my package and inside that it will create a py project.toml file which we have already seen it will create a readme file and inside that it will create a my package which, which is your uh, uh, like it is a it is a package in which you can list down all the files p.py files or their code right and it is also having your test for the unit te unit test okay so if you wanted to name your project to some different folder so you can just name it right and uh, it will be automatically uh, named as you have given it right and it will try, try for the init so it will try to create the py project.toml file and it has couple of options which we have already seen and then we are trying to install poetry and it will generate a poetry log file and it will use the exact versions there instead of resolving them and this ensures that everyone using this library will get the same version of the dependencies right okay so similarly so for any dependency so we will simply say uh, that poetry install mysql pgsql or pandas right and we can also say is poetry update and poetry add request pendulum right so these are the libraries which gets added to your project dot toml file and then itself it will create a, uh, a log file okay you can also give a github link right for example in your requirements of txt so this was an issue i have never seen like uh, maybe uh, that this this kind of an github url can be given in this requirements of txt right in some cases i need to get my depend dependencies installed from that specific library right or i will uh, say that uh, that from that particular uh, tar uh, or uh, uh, zz file or a wheel file so get get the dependencies in in case of your machine learning and nlp uh, packages so generally uh, they have given your tar file or your wheel file in which uh, your all the uh, libraries are being there right so in that case so it gives us the leverage to add these dependencies by using this tar file or your wheel file right okay then there are another options uh, like poetry show it will try to show all the available packages right 
and then you can also build where you wanted to build and it you need to package it using your py project file then you can also publish it right okay then you can also write some user defined scripts for example you wanted to run your script in that main module you wanted to run your main function right so there's a folder structure where, where you, you, you you are having your package and inside your package you are having your main module and inside that module you are having your main function right so there you need to run that main function so there you can uh, List it down in your tool dot poetry dot scripts and you can run poetry run my script right so this way also you can do it okay right okay so this is how we can install our project using this poetry okay in the next video i will be explaining you how you can use uh, or we will be using our fast api project and we would be hosting uh, uh, or we would be uh, doing this using a docker container and we would be using the correct uh, folder structure how to make the folder structure how to make the models how to uh, work with your environmental variables right all these things we will be covering in the next lecture so stay tuned guys for my next lecture and keep on subscribing my to my channel and uh, good luck for now thank you everyone